Hey guys, so I'm here to do a review on the SE Azula, my favorite, favorite little fixed blade for outdoor. Uh, you can see the dog. Uh, not my dog, by the way, my girlfriend's pup, but I'll video on that later. But here's the review on the SE Zula, my favorite fixed blade for outdoor activities and such. And the dog is shoving her butt in my face. All right, so let's start off with the sheath, shall we? Um, here's the knife, and here's the sheath. The sheath itself is a plastic, uh, plastic molded type of material. It does a very good job of holding the knife uh, in place. And uh, as you can see, you can there's some like holes and attachments. I myself just uh, put some simple power cord on there and just don't that's the only problem that it swivels like that but whatever it doesn't bother me I can put it horizontally on my belt and and that's that like that and there's a hole right there for those of you that like neck carry and uh, uh, when you get the knife it's gonna be naked you can power cord wrap it like me uh, but if that's not something something you want to do get away from here then you can always uh, buy the micarta scales or just buy the kit you get some cord you get uh, a tech lock I believe and you, you attach that to here and that goes on your belt so but that's gonna like charge you at 10 more bucks I think for the kit so I just bought it with simply the sheath and the and the knife and it's good enough for me and this comes in many different colors this comes in uh, this is gray but this always uh, this also comes in uh, comes in uh, pink comes in OD green comes in uh, comes in uh, tacky or just like uh, digi camo not digi camo wow excuse me well it would be cool to see a digi camo Azula uh, but like a brownish kind of diarrhea type color but you know which one I'm talking about the desert camo excuse that I finally remembered all right and the Azula, what does that mean by itself? The Azula is a, a bullet ant. I don't have a bullet ant around me, but I do have some regular ants around me, walking around. Black ants walking around the grass. And um, uh, this blade is made out of, uh, oh yeah, and the bullet ant is the strongest ant apparently. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, go over that any longer. All right, this is made out of 1095 carbon steel, which is uh, a high carbon steel, which you will need to put some oil on, unfortunately, or it will rust out on you. But if you do it like once or twice a week, you should be fine. It should do plenty. Look at the stock on that blade, and it's a uh, full tank construction, by the way. Uh, and there's a tractor coming, so if that's what you're wondering, what's that noise? But as you can see, here's that really really nice and thick stock and I really like that uh, this is a good little um, workers knife and even though the size is pretty small and overall I think this is like a six seven inch blade and the uh, overall cutting surface is like I don't know I'm guessing three two and a half which is very very small uh, but this knife is a worker seriously I did so many things with it I cut leather paper cardboard uh, fruit, veggies, meat, um, batoned with it, shaved wood with it, and the 1095 carbon steel is really, really tough. But be careful not to hit concrete because I did that and it kind of chipped, but it's easy to fix, so no problems. Uh, but it's so easy to resharpen, seriously. I did it in like a matter of seconds, uh, minutes even, maybe. Uh, yeah, like minutes, not seconds, excuse me. What am I talking about? I'm not flash. Uh, but definitely easy to resharpen. I wish I had some paper to show you the sharpness, but it shaves hair definitely. Uh, it uh, cuts paper very well. S cuts, no problem. Very easy to resharpen. And let me show that little gray coating. Here's the uh, little uh, bullet ant Rowan. It's uh, made by SE, made in the USA. Um, Azula. And the coating is very nice and beautiful. I like it a lot. It's my. Uh, blue cord that everyone loves and uh, the jimping right here is kind of useless in my opinion because the coating covers it and uh, but yeah it doesn't matter 
Uh, and the overall ergonomics of this knife is outstanding. I get a full finger, a full four finger grip, and my last finger kind of fits in that little you know, hole at the end and fits in really, really nicely in the hand. Secure grip. Uh, you get this uh, little finger choil and you can choke up and uh, put your finger on the jimping, which is, I guess it does work a little bit, and you get a full secure grip. I even like it in the reverse grip. It even feels nice that way too. Definitely an awesome knife. Uh, whenever I'm going outdoors, this knife is always with me. Uh, definitely. I just went for a walk today to the woods with my girlfriend. Uh, just like on a stroll on the road, like on this little path uh, on, in the woods and this knife was with me. So uh, I was you know, not worried at all if uh, shit hit the fan right there. I know this knife would definitely help me survive if I needed to. So guys, pick up your Azula. Charges about 40, 50 bucks depending on if you want the kit or not. Um, 15 bucks for the Micarta scales if you want it. Or check out, um, or check out Tough Thumbs. He makes some uh, custom scales. He might be able to uh, get something done for you. Uh, but guys, I hope you enjoy. Stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good one. A uh, Peace and out!